The markets are set to close higher as the Fed kicks off its two-day meeting. Now we're joined by Mark Newton of Grey Wolf Execution. Mark, if the Fed does scale back its bond purchases slightly by, say, $10 billion a month as expected tomorrow, are we going to get some kind of market reaction given it's supposedly priced in? Well, I think that is exactly what's priced in. So anywhere from 10 to 15, the market would probably respond somewhat positively. Uh, there are a lot of other scenarios where the market would be negative that it's not priced in at all. That is if the Fed absolutely does nothing or if the Fed does much more than the 10 to 15 billion uh, or potentially sets a timetable for when uh, they could end the, the bond purchases altogether, which would be a little more problematic. And uh, many people have spoken about that. Um, it's interesting that the Fed really hasn't had the economic data to support this tapering, but everybody anticipates it's going to occur, and I think there are a couple of different reasons for that. One is that Bernanke probably wants to cement his legacy, um, and, and, the other, and the other is, is that you know, potentially they're concerned about asset bubbles and, and the effects of overly accommodative monetary policy. The Fed did touch on that back in, in late April, and so those are two reasons that you know, they might decide to taper even though the economic conditions aren't quite there. Okay. Now, uh, revenue growth last earnings season wasn't fantastic. There have been suggestions that the level of revenue growth in the coming earnings season will be the thing that dictates market direction for the rest of the year. Would you agree with that? I wouldn't, simply because I don't believe that revenues and earnings drive stocks. I think it's vice versa. I, I think that, if anything, stocks have rallied since March of 2009 and revenues and earnings have followed. And now you started to see a real drying up of, of earnings and deceleration. And so my thinking is if the market turns down, then you're going to start to see a, a pullback and, and see earnings get worse for a few quarters. So I don't think that uh, the market is dependent on earnings to come in. Those are merely short-term fluctuations where a company might beat and, 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 and stocks respond positively or negatively uh, on, on a miss, but, but it's tough to forecast the market based on uh, earnings, obviously. And that obviously, that, that doesn't you know, a lot of the fundamentalists out there, the, the macro people would tell you that those are important. And I agree in the long term, it's, it's important to have good earnings. But in the short run, to try to predict market behavior, it just doesn't work as planned. Okay. And just finally, um, buybacks are at a six-year high. So that's great for shareholders. But is it good for an economy that wants its companies to invest for growth? Well, I think it's important to put the money somewhere. And companies are really wrestling right now because the business environment just isn't... Uh, you know, good enough to really justify putting money back to work. And so they're, they're, they're doing buybacks, they're doing uh, dividend hikes. Uh, until the business conditions can improve, um, you know, taxes start to come down, corporate taxes. Um, it's, it's tough to know exactly what the right answer is. Each company has their own business conditions and, and uh, investment opportunities that, that make sense. Uh, so I, I, don't, I don't have the perfect answer in terms of whether buybacks should continue uh, or not. I think eventually there's a lot of money and cash on the sidelines that is going to have to be put to, to work somewhere. Uh, you know, hopefully it'll be uh, here in the, in the U.S. and we can see good opportunities for investment. Hey, there you have it. That was Mark Newton of Grey Wolf Execution Partners and I'm Jane Sell for The Deal.